Now moving on to the next section, we're going to talk about water bodies. And you might not have any on your first couple holes. Um, if you don't, um, maybe just spline. If you don't have no water in your course, then skip this section altogether. Maybe you have water on another area of your course. It's completely fine just to spline it now and cut it. And uh, just make sure that your surrounding rough goes around it so you get a nice cut through there. Uh, but let's go in the Inkscape. Um, so this is one of the reasons I picked uh, hole 10 and hole 11 to show you because there is some water here that I can put on there. Now, um, depending on where you organize your water depends on really kind of where it is in your course. I personally like to make a separate hole or a folder for my water, especially if there's a lot of it. If you only have like one water body, you could probably just put it in whatever hole is the highest in your hierarchy because you always want water to cut through everything underneath it. Like bunkers, okay, and remember we always want bunkers to be on top of everything and cut through everything underneath them. Like bunkers, water have uh, an inset and an outset, okay? Um, they have an outer blend and then they have a, an inner inset. So you never want to cut through a water body. So we're going to put the water folder on top, even higher up in the hierarchy than our cart pass. So let's high, highlight our cart pass, hit plus, and we're just going to put water. And, and do add above current, and then we have our water folder. Now I'm going to zoom in on this water body. Now you can, depending on what you're trying to accomplish here, um, you might want to use your hill shade for this because the hill shade, if you're doing like something like a creek or a pond, you want the edge of the water to match and essentially be at this whole area right here is perfectly flat and you want the edge to be right where it meets the bank. Now, if I zoom in here really close, what you're going to see is the edges of this the water. This might be like a swampy area and technically the water might go all the way up to here and this might be vegetation floating in the water. So how would I determine that? Well, let's look at the hillshade. If I turn the hill shade on, yeah, you can see that that actually is a bank and it comes all the way out here. And there are some areas I know here, for example, here, maybe I get a good example. Hill shade. Yeah, yeah, as you can see here that this is some vegetation in the water. So I'm actually going to use the hill shade to spline my water here because this is going to be, if I just trace it right around this edge, that's going to match up nicely to my the bank that'll be in the terrain. So let's see, make sure I'm in my water folder. Go right down here to my icon, and I am just going to start tracing around here. And I'm going to pause because this is pretty straightforward. Now you might have situations like this. This is just an artifact of the, the LiDAR. And you can see how the LiDAR is kind of goofy in some of these areas. All that is, is just like almost like a time lapse. There might be going a wave that went across the water and it captured it. So it was just slightly different, but I'm going to pause this until I get all the way around. So I'm done splining this. I just want to show you what happened is remember that Inkscape will remember the last thing that you use. So in my case, it was a stroke and a fill. So I want to get rid of that stroke. So I'm going to come back up here. I get rid of that stroke paint. And now it's also remembering that I was with cart path. So if I highlight this, I can switch it to water. And now you can see my water is there. Um, now I'm not going to take my surrounding mesh and put around here because this is a good time to talk about our outer meshes and how they're going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, save as, I'm going to call this our fourth revision. And what did we do? Well, we added water. So I'm going to replace cart paths with water. Hit save. And I'm going to run it through Blender. And while I do that, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. All right. We took that uh, SVG that we added the water to. We ran it through Blender and we got our mesh file back. And here it is. So we see here are the shapes that we had already been working on. And then here's the water body that we just added. And this gives you a good idea of what happens with these 
auto outer meshes. So you can see these are the ones, this, this area out here, the area that we didn't spline, you can see gets filled in by these automatic, we call them the auto outer meshes. And we selected those as deep rough when we submitted the cleanser, And you can see it, they're showing up here as deep rough. Um, now, as far as how the rest of the courses work, and, and as a little strategy here, let's go back into Inkscape and let's turn on our turn off our hillshade so you can see what i'm going to do on this course is i've got this water splined here let me turn it back to blue um this water splined and then we have our course here all right so i'm gonna in the end and i'll show you guys the end result in another video series again i just want you to do one or two holes two holes max but my whole plan for this course is I'm going to spline up to this road around the outside, okay, right here. So I'll spline this water body over here, and I'll spline this road. And obviously, it'll stop here, but the golfer isn't going to be able to see too much over here. But this area out here on the outside of this road will be the auto outer, and I'll have that as the satellite overlay. It'll look just like you see here, the satellite. And then everything on the inside of this road, I'm going to spline and I'll put unity textures in there so that they'll look like grassy and, you know, for example, look like a green or fairway or deep rough. So that's just the overall strategy here. But I just want to give you guys an idea of what an auto outer looks like and uh, that'll become more clear as the video series goes on.